Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be your daily tarot reading for Wednesday, the 4th of December, 2019. Please keep in mind that this reading is for the collective, it's for all signs, and this is an intuitive reading. Now I'm using messages from your animal spirit guides along with the butterfly oracle. I will be doing your daily general reading with the Morgan Greer Tarot. And at the end of your reading, I will be pulling a Crystal Intentions Oracle for you as well. So we have the Falcon coming up here. Act on the opportunity that's before you and commit to it without equivocation. All right, powerful message right here. Thank you, Spirit. All right, Spirit, what extra messages do you have for us today? Wednesday, the 4th of December. Thank you, Spirit. All right, we have courage. Beautiful, beautiful colors there. All right. Thank you, Spirit. All right, Spirit, what do we need to know? Wednesday, the 4th of December, 2019. Thank you, Spirit. All right. Thank you, Spirit. Wednesday, the 4th of December. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. All right, we are ready. We had a flyer, and this is an extra message, so we have the Wheel of Fortune coming up here. This will be extra. We have the Ace of Rods. We have the High Priestess. We have the Nine of Cups. The Four of Cups. The Nine of Pentacles. Right, the world, the four of pentacles, and we have the full. All right, amazing energies right here. Thank you, Spirit. Now, right off, we have two nines coming up here. We have the number 99. And we also have the number 44. All right, so powerful numbers right there. I always say go and Google the angel number meaning. There is messages for you. Okay. All right. I really love it that the Wheel of Fortune made its way out. That's an extra message. So there's definitely a change coming. Um, this is going to be something that happens very quickly. And it's going to be very positive. Now with Falcon coming up here, act on the opportunity that's before you and commit to it without equivocation. Something's coming. All right. This is, I feel this is something you've been waiting on. This is either an offer. Okay, in some area of your life that's bringing in a blessing, or this is an opportunity, maybe career, job. I'm even getting relocation here. Some of you may be doing some traveling as well. And Spirit says, act on it. Step into this courage energy that's coming up here. All right, be courageous. Go after it. Go after what you want. Go after that opportunity. You have the inner strength and the inner wisdom that you need to take action on this. Thank you, Spirit. And like I said, with the Wheel of Fortune coming up here, this is, you know, being re-inspired. This is, you know, you taking action on something. And what happens is when you have that belief, that faith, and that trust in yourself, and you take that leap of faith, and that means that you're riding with the wheel, not against it. And then that, what comes with that is quick movement and change, a change of luck, moving out of, you know, challenges, maybe moving out of debt, anything like that that has really 
been holding you back, that's been dragging, that's been leaving you feeling stuck. Things are fixing to pick up very quickly, but there's a need for you to take action. You need to act on this opportunity that's coming in here. So you have the Ace of Rods clarified by the Nine of Pentacles. I uh, love the Ace of Rods. This talks about, you know, you being re-inspired. There's a, a new opportunity coming your way that's going to allow you to be very creative, okay? And this is an exciting new beginning here. And there's a lot of passion with this opportunity. Not to mention independence with the Nine of Pentacles clarifying this. For some of you, this is definitely a job, a career, something that's being offered here that is going to bring in a sense of independence, achievement, accomplishment, okay, stability and security within your finances. This is something you've been wanting. Now you have the high priestess clarified by the world. I love this. All right, the High Priestess is a very powerful energy. Each and every one of you watching is the High Priestess, whether you're male or female. You have this within you. All right, many of you have spiritual gifts that are awake. Okay, you're aware. Some of you, you have gifts that haven't been awakened yet, but they're going to be. Okay, this talks about uh, being clairvoyant. This talks about that psychic energy that's flowing within you and through you, which allows for you to tap into that. You tap into that, that well of wisdom that you have stored within yourself, connecting with your higher self. When you're able to do this, see all these decisions and choices that you're seeking outside of you, you realize those answers lie within you. And when you tap into that and you realize this and you take time out to pause and reflect and go within, you realize how powerful you are. You realize that, you know, oftentimes the high priestess represents keeper of hidden knowledge, secrets. But you realize that you can tap into that and you can pull from that well of knowledge. Now, I am getting for a handful of you, thank you, Spirit, that maybe what you're taking action on now, this isn't going to be for everyone. You're going to know this if this is for you. Uh, you need to keep this to yourself for the moment, okay? I, I don't understand that, but if it's for you, you do, all right? Now, we have the world coming up here. Amazing energy. This talks about... You completing a cycle. I feel like this has been a very challenging cycle for you. Okay? And there's completion here. Now you're able to start this new beginning, this new journey. Okay? And it, there's a sense of... What is the word I'm looking for here? Not just, not just completion... It's almost the energy that it's a relief. You're, you're so relieved that this is over with. This could have been a career or a job that has really not been serving your best purpose. And, you know, now you are free. You're able to start this new beginning successfully. You're able to move forward. And I feel like you know, it's going to bring you so much happiness because you have the, you know, the positive nines here. You have the nine of pentacles along with the nine of cups and the nine of cups is clear. I mean, the four of pentacles is clarifying the nine of cups. So what this tells me, that's what's being offered here, what you need to act on. Okay. With this new beginning is going to bring you some type of wish fulfillment in some area of your life. It's going to bring you emotional satisfaction it's going to bring you happiness and joy along with stability and security feeling completely in control over your finances and when i say that i mean that you know you feel like you have more than enough you're not stressed you're not worried about how you're going to pay the next bill 
whatever's coming up here, some of you may have money that's owed to you from the government, maybe from an inheritance, maybe from a lawsuit. Or this could be a new career or job. But this is going to really, it's going to be the energy of having so much structure. Okay, you're not, the worry is going to melt away. I really feel for, for a lot of you, you've been worrying about how you're going to pay the bills, you know, making ends meet, and whatever this opportunity is bringing in here, this is you laying a solid, unshakable foundation when it comes to financial stability and security here. Thank you, Spirit. Now, what's interesting, and I feel this is why the High Priestess is coming up in this reading as well, is because you have the Four of Cups clarified by the Fool. You have the World, which is the last major Arcana card, and you have the Beginning, all right? The first one, the Fool here. So I love it. Definitely completion and starting a new beginning. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me take a drink. All right. So... With this Four of Cups, like I said a moment ago, this High Priestess, this is really you tapping into your intuition. I feel like there have been other offers, and you knew. You paused and you reflected, and you knew they weren't for you. You knew something else was coming. You don't quite know. Some of you don't know what this opportunity is or what it is that you're waiting on. <clears throat> but with the High Priestess here, you know that when it shows up, you're going to know it when you hear it and when you see it. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm so sorry, you guys. My throat is itching. Okay. <laughs> so, with this coming up here, and this has been coming up a lot in the dailies. There's a definite new beginning on the horizon for many of you, okay? If you haven't already started it, it's, it's about to be here. That's what this Wheel of Fortune that flew out, it's coming and it's coming very quickly. I feel that you've been waiting. You may be, this could have been jobs that you've turned down. This could have been an agreement or somebody trying to make a compromise within a, a legal situation. You're like, nah, I'm holding out. You know, this offer isn't for me. I hope I'm making sense here, but that's what I'm getting here. You, you didn't like what's been offered, whether it was career inheritance anything like that so you're holding off well here it comes you have this offer coming in right here and this is a blessing this is a blessing in disguise right here and it's coming and you're going to know it when you see it when you hear it when you get that phone call and they're telling you about it you're going to be because you are the high priestess okay you know what you've been waiting on you may not be completely clear of what that is especially if it's a career or a job but you're going to know it, all right? And it's going to allow for you to start this, this new beginning. It's going to allow you to start a new journey. Most importantly with this energy is that you are trusting and believing in yourself as well as spirit. You're being divinely guided and you know it. Thank you, spirit. So you have the falcon. And, you know, I'm just going to tell you guys, go look up the, the symbolism and the meaning of the falcon as well. You can Google that as well. There's, there's a message there for some of you. Act on the opportunity that's before you and commit to it without equi equivocation. I'm getting stuttering here. Equivocation. I'm sorry, you guys. That's a big one. It's time to act, though. I feel like once you take action here, that's when you start riding with this wheel and not against it. That's when you're going to start coming out of any challenges or obstacles because you're being courageous. You know how powerful you are, and you're taking that step. You're taking action. So that's going to start moving things in the right direction for you. And the speed is going to pick up. A change of luck is coming in here for you. And it's going to re-inspire you. You're going to have a lot more passion and desire about what this new beginning holds. 
you know, and this is something that's going to bring in independence and stability and security into your situation as well. And you know this. You're the high priestess. You know this within yourself. And it's going to allow for you to close out a chapter that you are just so ready to end and close out. Because you're going after that, that wish fulfillment, something that's going to bring you emotional joy and satisfaction into your life. It's going to allow for you to have structure, stability, and security within your finances. You being in complete control, not worrying about how you're going to pay the rent or pay the bills or buy food. You're going to have extra. And with this Four of Cups here, you've had many opportunities that's come up, but you've held out because you knew a blessing was coming, and here it is. You're going to know it when you see it. And it's going to allow for you to start this new journey, this new beginning. I'm excited for you guys. Beautiful energy here. Thank you, Spirit. Pull one more. Okay. Release heartache, grief, and sorrows of past relationships. Encourage lightheartedness and joy. Restore the balance of confidence and emotions. My mental and emotional bodies are balanced. I attract nurturing people. And this is rhodonite, and I'm going to hold it up there so you can look at it. Now we have sexual and sensual vibrancy, increased passion for life and in relationships, attract spiritually aligned romance, love, and your soulmate. I attract romance filled with divine love. I have healthy I have a healthy sex life. And this is the Ruby in Fushite. I hope I'm saying that right. Right. <coughs> now, now, Lucy, for some reason, Spirit wants me to pull this one, so I'm going to pull it. Remember the divine spark within. Aspire toward enlightenment. Increase, Lucy, increase mental clarity and intelligence. Improve telepathic communication skills. My mind and spirit are connected. With each other and the divine. And this is Seraphonite. And I'm going to hold that there for a minute. I'm sorry you guys. She's upset. Someone just rang the doorbell. <laughs> for some reason. Spirit wanted me to pull another card. Um, I've seen this. So. Alright you guys. I love you. Please leave me a comment. Let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everyone.